This week in Jamaica now, do something. Groups call on government to ramp up anti-violence plans following the Clarendon massacre. Innocent, defendants in the Klansman Wan Don gang trial say they did not commit the crimes they're accused of. Not to be. Jamaica's foreign minister loses bid for Commonwealth position in a narrow vote. And charge him. DPP rules that cop whose daughter died after being left in a car for hours should be prosecuted. I'm Jovan Johnson and this is Jamaica Now. 23-year-old Rashane Barnett has been charged with murdering a mother and her four children in New Road, Clarendon. The Jamaica Constabulary Force says he was charged based on a caution statement he gave to the police. 31-year-old Kamisha Wright, 15-year-old Commander Smith, 12-year-old Charlie Smith, 5-year-old Rafaela Smith and 23-month-old Kishon Henry Jr. were discovered inside their home with chop wounds and their throats slashed on Tuesday. Mr. Barnett fled the area to Wilson Run in Trelawney, where he was apprehended later that evening. He's a cousin of the victims. The distraught mother and grandmother of the murder victims was inconsolable on Tuesday morning. No matter where family come from, she's always there. Oh, God Almighty. I'm blowing a buckle if you have my daughter. I could have my daughter for me one. Me have a blue in a buckle, quad buckle. Me have her, me push her out. And they take me one daughter for me. My daughter was so, oh God. She was so ambitious. She was so ambitious. And Parliament had paid tribute to the family. This morning events had a certain savage tweet that is hard to to understand. It's a degree of savagery which indicates a certain mentality which is very disturbed. When I met the grandmother, the, with the mother of Kenesha, the mother, all I could do was hold her hand. As a country, and I speak as a woman, as a mother, we have to begin to look at what's happening in our homes. And who are these children that we are raising? We have to find a way. And it's not about the political divide. It's about us as persons in this parliament who have been elected to serve, to do all we can to find a way to bring back this kind and gentle society. Meanwhile, several local and international organizations have called on the government to do more to stem the tide of violence against children. The Jamaica Umbrella Group of Churches said Jamaica needs to urgently find ways to reverse the culture of violence. The United Nations Children's Fund, UNICEF, says the events highlighted the need for the government of Jamaica to accelerate commitments made to protect children under the 2019 National Plan of Action for an Integrated Response to Children and Violence. Those plans include investing in programs addressing conflict resolution, anger management, safety in the homes and community safety, and developing and improving partnerships to strengthen community resilience in relation to violence. The National Parent Teacher Association and the Jamaica Teachers Association have also made calls for action. A Kingston teacher has been sentenced to more than 30 years in prison for the sexual assault and murder of a 13-year-old girl in 2018. Sanju Maharaj, who was charged with the killing of Shanoya Ray, was sentenced on Thursday in the Home Circuit Court. Shanoya's remains were discovered inside Maharaj's bathtub at his St. Andrew home on July 20, 2018. Mr. Maharaj had poured caustic soda and other chemicals on her body, causing it to deteriorate rapidly. Mr. Maharaj pleaded guilty to having sexual intercourse with a person under 16 years old, for which he got 12 years, and for murder, for which he was sentenced to 21 years in prison. He got two years for trying to dispose of a corpse. 26 of the 28 defendants in the Klansman Wan Don gang trial have declared their innocence of the crimes that they are alleged to have committed, and most of them told Chief Justice Brian Sykes that they did not know each other until they were charged. Reputed gang leader Andre Blackman Bryan, who's facing charges of facilitating the commission of murder and leading a criminal organization, said he did not do the things he's been accused of. He gave an unsworn statement in which he said he was a music producer. 
He said he was not a member of a gang and had never given any order for anyone to be killed. And the lone female in the trial, Stephanie Christie, insisted that she is a charitable community activist who is not involved in any gang activities. The woman, said to be a pastor, told the court that she is a businesswoman who loves to care for the elderly and young men in her community in Spanish Town St. Catherine where the gang is based. The trial started with 33 accused persons, but five were later freed. On Monday, there was high expectation that more would have been found not guilty by the presiding judge. However, Justice Sykes ruled that all 28 had a case to answer, although some of the counts on which they were held were dismissed because of insufficient evidence. The Holiness Administration faced embarrassment this week after it tabled the wrong regulations in the Parliament for the St. Catherine State of Emergency on Tuesday. On Thursday, lawmakers were called to an unscheduled meeting of the House of Representatives where National Security Minister Dr. Horace Chang tabled the correct regulations, which he said were in line with a recent court ruling. On June 17, the Constitutional Court ruled that regulations approved in 2018 were in breach of Jamaicans' fundamental rights to liberty and freedom of movement. Dr. Chang said someone has to be held accountable for the error. There are a number of questions raised about several issues of the, of, of, in, within the regulation. We are not here to debate those today. They expect the opposition will take time to look at them. But in reviewing them, amendments were made to a number of them in order to meet the standards that was being asked by the court. Those amendments were made and uh, were provided to me on Sunday. Uh, this is the copy I have which has all the amendments, hard copy, taken to the governor general and signed. And my understanding is that this was sent to the printer. This is what is normally done, that's the process. What came back on Tuesday was not what I have in my hand. How that happened is a matter of concern. As I indicated, we'll be investigated to understand how and why, because it is of concern to me personally, as a minister responsible at this point in time, why such a grave error could have been made. It not only puts the parliament under pressure, it's uh, not a good sign. Dr. Chang was also pressed by opposition MP Philip Paulwell on how the security forces are operating in the St. Catherine SOE given the issues surrounding the regulations. Just to be absolutely clear, mm. you're saying that since this state of emergency was, I think one of us would like to sit. Yeah, sorry. Yes. Since the state of emergency was introduced on Friday in the parish of St. Catherine, nobody has been held under the regulations that were in place prior to, um, that came into effect on Friday morning. That's what I No, nobody has been so held. Jamaica's Foreign Minister, Senator Kamina Johnson-Smith, has lost the race to become Secretary General of the Commonwealth Organization. Baroness Patricia Scotland retained her position in a vote of 27 to 24 on Friday at the Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting in Rwanda. In a statement following the closed-door elections, Senator Johnson-Smith congratulated the Baroness, thanked countries that supported her, and said God wasn't ready for her to leave Jamaica. Prime Minister Andrew Holness said the contest was good and that Mrs. Johnson-Smith ran what he called a distinguished and exemplary campaign. Jamaica's late entry into the race just two months before the elections triggered concerns in some quarters of CARICOM and a narrative that Jamaica was doing the bidding of the United Kingdom, which did not want to continue with the Baroness Scotland. Information Minister Robert Morgan says the full costs of the campaign are being tabulated and will be disclosed at a post-cabinet briefing due after he returns from Rwanda. He suggested at a Gleaner Twitter Spaces discussion on Friday that Jamaica did not get some of the votes promised. Director of Public Prosecutions Paula Llewellyn has recommended that the Jamaica Constabulary Force should charge the St. Elizabeth Police Sergeant, whose 12-month-old daughter died after being locked in his car in January. The policeman, Detective Sergeant Sheldon Dobson, who is attached to the Black River Police Station in St. Elizabeth, reportedly forgot his daughter in his car at the station compound for almost eight hours. The baby should have been taken to daycare. And that's it for this edition of Jamaica Now, your weekly review of the big news stories. Send us your comments at online feedback at gleanerjm.com. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Jamaica Gleaner and on Facebook at Gleaner Jamaica. Like this video on our YouTube page, turn on your notification and subscribe today. I'm Jovan Johnson and before we go, 
Let's go back to the scene of the massacre in Clarendon, where a mother and her four children were found dead on Tuesday. And just as I'm here, I'm here, one of my friends with Arthur Shepherd called me and said, Gwenny, everybody dead in my house. <laughs> How could you believe? I'm certain that all Jamaica is grieving. I'm certain that all Jamaica is horrified and upset at this gruesome murder. It is the most gruesome crime that I can recall in recent times. It is heartbreaking, heartrending. This kind of violence cannot be allowed to continue. This has never happened before in our constituency. We are not used to this type of mass killing. And I and I'm just asking the police to not leave anything to chance in finding whoever is responsible for this 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 very wicked tragedy this wicked act my daughter was so oh god she was so ambitious she was so ambitious she had four kids four kids three of them the three girls if baby father left her a gun of her in I leave her alone with that three little daughter and she work and take care of her three pitney them.